Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Extinction, and today we find ourselves in the sunken forest because we are going to be taking on the forest titan today. But before I go into that, I want to show off the cords for the cave because this was a cave I could never find, well, a long time ago. So, this is the cords, about 1239, obviously in the cave, uh, or obviously in the sunken forest, but yeah, those were the relative coordinates, so that's what you're looking for. You're probably going to need a minimum Rex, I would say, to get through here, just because there are Prolovia. So, you want to make sure you don't get hit by those guys. But, uh, yeah, let's get in here. So, I kind of want to see if I can find the, um, because I don't, I don't think I've ever actually seen it personally. But I want to see if I can find the, um, oh, there's the cave lag, the Ascension Terminal. Uh, I, or the, um, Homo Deus Terminal? I don't even know what it would be called, technically speaking. Ooh, he's loud. He's very loud. Give me a second. Okay, we should be good. I think. Alright, this should be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to... I was, I was hoping to gather hide, but it looks like we're gonna be encumbered way too fast. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have to turn off resource harvesting. Keep a bit of meat on me and leave it at that. I have been getting a decent amount of hide from the order supply drops. I figured out a way to, uh drop like all the meat automatically using s plus so that's candy at least i can you know i can still do the osds not too hard all right or still be able to like you know rather hide and everything because i'm going to need hide for all the saddles and everything we're gonna need to craft eventually I like how we're getting the wasteland music well, technically speaking i am in the wastelands but it's like i i'm in the wastelands but i'm not in the wastelands I'm technically, yeah, as you can see, I'm like, my finger is covering me, but I'm kind of at, like, really close to the, I think it's called the Forbidden Zone, I think, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's keep going through. I can't really sprint too much with the Giga, obviously, because, yeah, Giga, stamina is trash. Oh, and we got a bleed in there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be dropping this Giga away once we're actually getting into the Titan, um, but, uh, cause I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using a mech myself, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna drop the Gigas in. Uh, I know I'm gonna drop some Rexes in, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using the Gigas, cause I have a few spare, so I think they're more just gonna be for backups just in case. Cause you never know. You never know. Alright. Yeah, this is, if I remember, like, the Desert Titan Cave is really easy to find really easy itself very very short so this cave is a lot longer a lot uh harder and i don't know the, the desert titan cave kind of felt like almost a normal kind of cave so it, it, it yeah it kind of it had it was good it was okay but it definitely didn't feel like the kind of difficulty you'd expect from what you're getting in extinction to be fair though, I really don't understand why the caves have creatures, if you think about it. It would kind of make sense if they had corrupted creatures. So it's like the corrupted creatures are defending the titan before you actually get to the titan. But, I mean, the uh, logic behind getting the corrupted creatures in here. But I mean still, like, it, it doesn't entirely make sense that random wild creatures are uh, keeping the- or trying to protect the forest titan, you know? I don't know. Doesn't make sense, in my opinion. I think it's this way. I'm not positive on that, but I believe it's that way. All right, let's kill this Carno and keep going through. As you can see, this Giga is pretty good. I've gotten some a lot of levels into it, and I, I have kind of been working on mutations. I don't know if I'm really gonna get into it that much because I really don't know if I'm gonna be using Gigas past uh, extinction. I might use them in Gen Part Two, but. We don't really have much on Gen Part 2, so we don't really know what's in store. Uh, this was definitely not the right way. But yeah, we don't really ha know what's in store. I mean, we had the... or uh, This has been pre-recorded, if you can't tell, but, like, I think it was yesterday or something, we had the Void Worm uh, get announced, and obviously the Genesis Part 2 delay. Which, uh, I guess, in a way, is kind of cool, because then it gives me more time to get through uh, the maps. Am I going down or was it supposed i think i'm supposed to go this way 
Also, there are there's. I didn't think there were any theories in this cave. If I known there were theories, I would have. Uh, yeah, if I known there were theories, I would have grabbed, or I wouldn't have, uh, you know, tried to push to getting so many theory claws outside. Then I will. I think this right here is actually the entrance into. So I think I need to break this rock, but I'm pretty sure this is the entrance to the ascension t terminal. I mean, I don't know if I really call it an ascension, though. I mean, in its own way, it's an ascension. If you don't really know the lore behind it, uh, basically, uh, here, I'll see if I can get to it before I really explain it. But uh, basically, um, oh shoot, there's creatures in here. I did not expect that. Oh man, this is a really... I haven't been able to test this shotgun out, actually, so... This is first time I could try this puppy out, which it seems pretty nice, so I'm not going to complain there. All right, uh, before I talk about lore, I just want to make sure this place is secure before I start talking about the lore behind this. Oh, there's an explorer out here. This be oh, this is Helena's last note on uh, extinction. Okay, uh, let's kill it, beauty, and then let's kill the Carnos, and then I can officially go down there in safety. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, I can say I'm pretty chill right now. I can uh, talk about the lore. So basically, what happened was, um, hell, or like, um, the survivors that came from Aberration, uh, they were obviously trying to get around, trying to survive, trying to figure out what they needed to do. And Santiago died. His grave is actually in the city. I might try to show that off sometime, because it is pretty cool to see. But, um,. Anyway, so they were attacked by titans, uh, and then I think, I don't know, I think she, Helena got an artifact, or either that or it was just some item she got from, uh, uh, one of the tech structures, which we can't get or use, um, but basically she, they were going around and she placed the item on her implant, and it, like, basically stunned all of the corrupted creatures and everything, but she herself was, base. I, honestly, I think she was, like, slowly dying. So, I think Mayin was the, uh, besides uh, Helena, was the lone survivor. So they uh, headed out and uh, Helena put her in this thing. No, Mayin put Helena in this thing. Oh, shoot, I heard something. Yep, there's terror chickens. But yeah, uh, Mayin put Helena in that thing. And that is how Helena became a homo deus. Uh, this... Uh, this bed, kind of like a tech sleeping chamber, uh, or sleeping pod, this thing basically will as or ascend you to uh, Homo Deus. We can't use it, obviously, but uh, it is kind of interesting to see. And uh, I, I might- oh shoot, there's theories there, okay. I'm just gonna kill these two real quick. There's a lot of dangerous things around here, alright. So this is note 27, I think, yeah. Uh, Mayan, Mayan technically never died, I'm pretty sure. Especially because, uh, suppose, I haven't seen it myself, but supposedly in Genesis Part 1, or when you finish Genesis Part 1 in the um, uh, credits, it will say uh, Helena and Mayan will return. But uh, when we look at Helena at the last note, so. Uh, yeah, this was talking about it. So. The tomb, the throne, you have to reach it. You have to take me there to the tomb of ascension. So this is what this place is called, the tomb of ascension. I can show you the path, but you have to walk it alone. I wish it weren't true. I wish I could give you wings. But I believe in your heart, uh, so believe in mine. One last time, I need you to believe. And then, yeah. But, yeah, this is the tomb of ascension. So, a tomb and what we view as ascension kind of don't really mix together. But the reason it's called the tomb, in, or at least in my opinion, the reason it's called the tomb, is because although becoming a homo deus gives you infinite knowledge and everything, it also kind of leads you to your demise. Because slowly, you start to lose everything that makes you human until there's nothing left. I also talked about that in the uh, Arc Lore uh, video I made. Uh, if you're interested, go check it out. Uh, pretty sure we're actually nearing where the titan or where we saw the titan anyway yeah so kind of interesting uh but yeah th that was called the tomb of ascension so i don't know it, it's the lore in game is pretty cool it takes searching but if you find it 
hub world. It's really cool. Oh. oh, it just turned night, I think. All right, let's keep going through. Oh shoot, what I get? No, 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 pass, 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 pass. Shoot, he's gonna knock me off. He's gonna knock me off. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh. Mm. No. Oh. I don't know how the Perlovia the, 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 the Perlovia reached me, but it reached me somehow, and that hurt. Nearly got me killed. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. Oh, yep. There's the Ascension Terminal and the theory, the artifact. I might not have given him enough time to spawn. Which if I oh, there's a red drop. Oh no, I gave enough time. Yeah, uh, because I'm in single player, I have to wait outside caves. That's why in the cave videos, I don't get to start in a. Um, at base and like show how to get to the cave. I have to start in the cave because or yeah because I run in single player uh, the artifacts don't spawn unless I take forever during the cave so I have to uh, if I but if I wait outside for like 10 to 15 minutes um, I don't know if it was really worth it but I'll take it I guess yeah if I wait outside for like 10 to 15 minutes the artifact will spawn and possible loot drops although normally none but but yeah, that's why, like, in videos, uh, or, like, that's why, like, I normally had to go and stay in a cave, and why I started cave videos in caves. And, like, uh, the, um, that one hunted video where we went inside a cave, the reason that there was, or that, uh, there's no drops or anything was because in single player I have to wait it out just a bit longer, uh, to go get drops and artifacts spawn. Uh, that cave's generally, the one that I went in for the Hunted series, that one, generally speaking, has an artifact spawn in time. So, it's not too bad, but, uh, yeah, most, most caves aren't like that, so it's kind of annoying. Alright, uh, I just need to clear out this little platform, then we're gonna go grab the artifact, and we'll start off this fight. Okay. So, as I said, I'm not gonna be using this Giga, because this is gonna be, like, my caving one. Or, this is gonna be one, one for the cave, because it's... Uh, we'll take damage from being in the cave. So it's gonna be safer if I just don't. Uh, the artifact of the growth. I, the, the artifact of the growth actually is really cool. I really like this one. Very fancy. Uh, I'm. That was the artifact of the gatekeeper, I think it was. But that thing changed into the artifact of the gatekeeper. What, what happened there? So, something's very sus. Alright, let's pop this. Uh, these things over here. Let's just make sure there's nothing else. Okay, nothing's else that's attacking. All right, let's pop the items in. So we need. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can take five back out. All right, so take that and artifact of the growth, and we have the forest titan. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop the rexes out now, and I'm also gonna be using my mech. Uh, this might be an easy fight. I'm honestly like like the uh, desert titan. I've never done these titans before, or at least legitimately, so I honestly don't know if I'm overprepared, underprepared, or, like, anything. Like, I'm just, I'm going in blind, basically, and I really don't want to know too much about them. That's kind of what I want from this series, is kind of just learn along the way. I die, oh well. Sucks to be me, but is what it is. Alright, I'm also going to drop the tight, not, not the titan, the mech out, uh... Yeah, that thing did not take damage. Interesting. I could have sworn it did. Maybe it's because it's a soul wall. Uh, I'm getting. I'm gonna wait just a bit. Now, the forest titan is a annoying one. So you want to try to make sure that you send your creatures straight on it because the forest titan is the one titan that can despawn if you deload it. So, or even if you just go too far away from it, it can despawn. So you have to be really careful. All right. Let's pop the nut down and then put all the pods inside. No, I don't need the sword pod vertebrae. Alright, everybody. Uh, I also want to pop like, I don't know, 50, nope, that's 10. I want 15 elements in there. Alright. Alright, everybody should be going in, in theory. Alright, ooh, kind of getting framey here. Ow! No, 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 no! Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Oh. oh goodness. Oh goodness. Okay. Woo! Woo! 
he does damage. Uh, I think it's... What, what, what button is it to... Yeah, there we go. To launch the rocket pods. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That did damage. Maybe I will have to take the Gigas out for this. I'm starting to wonder. Woo! Ow! That hurt. Okay. Ooh, this is a lot tougher than I thought compared to the Desert Titan. This is a lot scarier. There is a chance, although hopefully unlikely, that I can lose my Rexes here. Now, obviously, as I said, hopefully unlikely, but it still is a possibility, so. Alright, just keep launching. Oh, shoot. I need to try to make sure I'm not on the ground. I think I should be fine now. Okay. Let's launch another pod. There we go. That, that, that did some good damage. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh, man. Man, this fight is a lot harder than I expected. For sure. Alright, I only have one rocket pod left. Whew, okay. Alright, yep, I'm gonna have to prepare for this a bit more. I'm also gonna have to try to cool myself down here a bit. Alright, need to go more towards where the Titan came from, because if I head too far out of his range, uh, he'll get mad. Nope. Alright, come on. Actually, this might be a good time- No! <gasps> Shoot. Okay! Okay, that was- that was actually pretty smart. Uh, shoot. Here's the problem, though. He m he's definitely coming after me. Okay. Oh, shoot. No! Avoid is it. Okay. I need to get to my mech. Problem is, he's, like, right on top of it. Uh, ha <laughs> Uh, this is a big problem. He is right on top of my mech. And there's nothing I can do. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my... Uh, tech rifle here. For sure. Ugh, shucks, okay. Okay, this might be as good a time as ever to get down and grab the mech. Come on, get in. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was stressful. That was stressful. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Like, really hope that doesn't happen again. Because that was scary. I am amazed he actually managed to, like, not hit me there. Okay, can I not stop tripping on that thing? Ow. Okay, we need to keep shooting at this thing. How much element do I have left in me? Uh, whew, I'm running down. Definitely running down. Alright. The Rexes are doing good damage, though. That's good. That's really good. Ooh, but he's doing good damage to them as well. And that is a problem. Oh, man. Wow, I do, like, no damage there. All right, yeah, I think this is just going to have to be... Oh, uh, damage him here. I'm um, damaged the corrupted node accidentally. Uh, I definitely don't want to tame him, that's for sure. Okay, back up. Definitely don't want to get hit by that. Okay, I think I'm fine. All right. Oof. Good damage there. Good damage. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Ow. Oh, he's so close. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, we got the text or blueprint as well. Nice. Not wait. Engram. Sorry. Ooh, lag. Oh yeah, Fry. He's this really cool death animation. Alright, uh, guys. Okay, ooh, another lag spike. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that scared me. I probably just cut ahead, but on my side, that actually took a decent amount of time. Alright, uh, I want to get my taxidermy tool. I totally want to grab the taxidermy of this guy. I'm pretty sure if you chop him up, you get some, like, uh, like fungal wood and everything from him. So, how much damage you gotta take? Uh, uh, the... 
Yeah, I think, yeah. My main Rex, the Beast Queen, took the most amount of damage there. And she definitely took a hefty amount, but not too bad. Uh, yeah, okay. That's not bad, but I already have a really good rifle, so I'm definitely going to need it. I might, no, I forgot. No, never mind. I don't think making those are useful, because, like, making this would be useful just because it has armor value. But I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually boost the damage at all, if I remember correctly. So, I'll definitely look into it before uh, I just say, like, straight out, not useful. But I'm pretty sure that, like, just getting better versions literally does nothing. But, uh, yeah, that was one forest titan. <laughs> we need to kill him two more times. So I'm definitely gonna have to heal everybody up. Uh, okay. Rocket pods. I need to go grab more rocket pods. Ugh, I was hoping to do this all without having to go back to base, but oosh, I'm definitely gonna have to. Alright, well, uh, I'll be back once well, I'm back at base. Uh, oh, there you go. That's what you get from him. This is fungal wood thatch and uh, some corrupted nodules. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be doing this guy a few more times. Uh, if anything eventful happens during one of uh, one of them, I'll probably record it. But otherwise, uh, I'll be back once I've defeated him uh, three times total, and then we'll go over the loot and everything, and then uh, that'll probably be the end of the video. So, yay! All right, I just got back from uh, the uh, last forest titan fight, so now I just gotta drop basically everything in here. Uh, I'm probably gonna accidentally put a few creatures in there too, knowing me. But I'm gonna try to avoid and just put all of the items I got from the fight in there. Which actually, I, actually, I think I did pretty well. Uh, I did drop a lot of the straight up weapons, just and armor because no, not just m most of them. I dropped all of them because I was encumbered. So uh, the saddle also I got from the um, drop. I think there might be one more item in here I got from drop, but yeah. Anyway, uh, this is generally what we got. A lot of ammunition, so I'm totally going to be using more, or like uh, keeping more of this, especially the shotgun shells. Yeah, definitely going to come in handy. Uh, I might make one of these at some point, just so that way I can have some armor. Because, I mean, the if I can get a, was it an MSCM or something? Mech Siege Cannon Module, so yeah, it should be an MSCM, right? Yeah, so I really want to get one of these sometime. And then I can be using all of these, and I'll probably use it for like uh, Titan taming, and especially the uh, King Titan. That's yeah, I'm most likely to be using the Siege Cannon. But uh, yeah, uh, but this means we have a step in the right direction, and we start. We're gonna be able to start putting the heads of those guys in there. Oh boy, yeah. I basically, I think if I get. Ten or nine more corrupted hearts i can officially take on and and obviously the uh ice titan head but i can officially take on the gamma king titan before i'm taking on the gamma king titan i do want to try and take on it well not just try i want to take on a purple osd because i really want to see and probably multiple but i really want to see about getting some really good mechs because although mine's okay i definitely think i need one that's going to be better for like king titan and future so definitely want to keep my eyes out for purple drops uh after well i mean maybe before the ice titan i'm not sure but yeah that's the loot we got and then lastly i actually think that i think that also included with the desert titan loot i'm gonna move bolt here because i think he's slightly in the way but uh, i also want to check out the forest titan uh thing oh, wait i forgot his arms are gone yep because of how, how you tame him, uh, he's, his arms, uh, yeah, disappear. It kind of sucks, but is what it is. Alright, I'm going to attack with my helmet, because otherwise I'm going to accidentally, you know, spam it, and then... Hmm. Uh, actually, I kind of want to see the animations as well. Holy moly, that's a lot of colors. Oh, okay, let's get rid of the dust. That was the idle animation. Oh, that's his moving animation. Ah, that's bright animation, and then that's him trying to slap. Ah, okay. So obviously we want to stop animations. I'm thinking. Uh, that was not bad. Maybe if I twist it, because maybe we can try to face it this way. So I think if I twist it, another 45 degrees to. Yep. All right. Yep. I like this. 
So then I can put like the Ice Titan looking that way. Yeah, this looks nice. Very exciting, okay. So there's one more Titan down. So we need to take out the Ice Titan. Then we're gonna be trying an OSD. And then, or purple OSD I should say. Which I will definitely be using a shield generator for. There's no chance of taking that on without one. But uh, yeah, Ice Titan, purple OSD, and then the King Titan. It feels like I'm like, yeah, if I hadn't done the Desert Titan a few days ago, I would have said like, I am so far from doing them, but can you get out of my face, please? But now that I'm actually doing them, it's like, my word, I'm a lot closer than I first thought I was. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, well, I guess I say King Titan, like King Titan right after. It's not specifically just the King Titan right after. We also have to tame the Titans. I will be taming each type, uh, even though Desert's probably going to be like basically useless. I will still tame it just because I don't know. I kind of feel like it fits. Uh, it's not really, you know, a proper uh, a, a fight against the King Titan if you don't have all of the sub Titans. Uh, but hopefully, and this is a big hopefully, uh, our Titans survive uh, Gamma and Beta. I probably won't need them for Alpha, but I'd rather have them for Alpha. But uh, I'm going to be taming them for both Gamma and Beta. So, uh, just because I don't see the point in uh, like pulling it and just waiting a bit longer and take trying to take on the King Titan. It'll be easier this way. It will be much faster. So, I personally just think it'd be a better idea to uh, tame the Titans before Gamma instead of after. But uh, anyway, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be... I'm going to have to do a bunch of work. I'm probably going to be breeding more Gigas. I really want to get a decent mutation stack. But as I said, I don't know if I'm really going to be using them outside of Extinction and possibly Gen 2. I might bring like them over to Gen 1, but I really don't think I'm going to need them very much. But uh, yeah... Alright, so I think that's the end of today's episode. Good, so, hope you guys enjoyed uh, Forge Titan today. Ice Titan next uh, Ascension video, and then we have Purple OSD, then we're going to be taming all three Titans, and then officially the King Titan, and then yeah, from then on, Genesis. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.